A lot of injuries, including tonight at the New Japan Resurgence show. The main event was for the new strong women's title, and they had a tournament on the show, and it came down to Willow Nightingale and Mercedes. And that match ended up being a disaster as uh, Mercedes went up to the top rope and fell off. And in, she, she basically she was going to do a code red off the top rope. Yeah, right? she just and it, she just slipped. It, it wasn't even it, it, it was a slip. But it, I watched it a bunch of times and it looked like she just didn't have her balance. And so in order to not get hurt, she just kind of jumped off the top because I think she felt she was going to lose it. But when she landed, she broke her ankle. And was it a bro- was it a broken ankle? I heard broken ankle. Okay. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I heard broken ankle. Turns out to be something else. It might be something else. But I heard she broke her ankle and got back in the ring on one leg. And she went for the bank statement. And Willow powered her way out and then uh, powered her way into a gut wrench sit out power bomb. Dr. Bomb. The ref drops down, counts one, counts two, stops. But Mercedes did not kick out. That was bad. The fans start booing mightily, and so Willow grabbed her, and she picked her up, and she gave her another sit-out powerbomb, and this time the ref had been smartened up, and he counted three, and so Willow is the new IWGP uh, New Japan Strong Women's Champion, and I guess we'll find out what the update is on Mercedes. I, I presume, I shouldn't presume anything. Um... But Mercedes is not the champion right now. Willow is. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Mercedes obviously was supposed to win the championship. I guess. I mean, I don't know. Was she? Yeah. I presume so. I mean, I But, was, I mean, I don't know how I, many I was, dates. I didn't know because I didn't know how many dates she had left. So. Well, she 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 did a new deal, but I don't know how many dates there are in the new deal. So, you presumably, she was supposed to win this match. Uh, I can't say 100%, but when I was told about it, which was before it happened, I was told she's winning the tournament. Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. And, I mean, you could tell the ref was just all freaked out. Well, you know, the ref was freaked out because sometimes, you know, even if even if Mercedes was supposed to lose, if that's not the finish, he is going to hold up. I mean, the referee is going to go to you before the match and go, what's your finish? You tell him yeah. the finish. So you do something but, else, he's going to hold up the count if you don't kick out. So Yeah, but that looks really bad. It does look bad, but, yeah. you know. But I, I know in a championship situation, you know, you don't want to do the wrong thing and screw up all the plans. Um, so it's really interesting because, you know, I mean, AW kind of got handed something with Willow. You know, I mean, winning this match and beating Mercedes and everything. And they probably should try to capitalize on it um, ASAP rather than just kind of let it fall through. Um, That's that's a minor part of it. And then as far as like, you know, as far as like the length of the, you know, we have to find out the situation with the injury and her contract situation and what's next. But that was, uh, you know, I mean, one of the biggest upsets, if you look at it that way, nobody saw that one coming. And uh, it was a pretty crazy shock. I, it didn't appear that when, when it was over, when Willow was giving the speech, that she was at all ready for it. But I give her credit because in a lot of cases, when it's unexpected, you kind of like get mad and, you know, you, you didn't get to do the finish in your, you know, your match. But she acted like she just won a big championship. And so that was kind of... I thought that was a good thing to get it over. And, uh, you know, the people kind of were happy for her. You know, I mean, that was, you could see that. So, um, you know, it's kind of like you could make a star out of this thing. Um, you know, I mean, it, you should. You should make a star out of the situation. Use it to springboard somebody. And she's been, you know, I mean, she's been ready for uh, that springboard for months and months and months. She gets over with the crowd every time. But uh, it's a hell of a show tonight, though. Well, we'll talk about the rest of the show in a moment, but there's four other injuries to talk about. Liv Morgan has what is believed to be a shoulder injury that may need surgery. And so they announced on SmackDown that her and uh, uh, Raquel were being stripped of the tag team titles. And they are going to do a four-way 
coming up on Raw. And the winners of not that this, Not way. this week, but, but the week after, right? Yep. And the winners of that will be the new champions, Raquel and a partner of her choosing, Which Ronda and Shayna. Shotzi. Ronda and Shayna, Bailey and EO, and Sonya and Chelsea. With yes. the winners being the new champions. And uh, again, we don't know if she'll need surgery, how long she'll be out, but apparently it's serious enough that they had to strip them of the titles. Yeah. I guess, I guess the situation on Monday, they didn't know. Well, no, because yeah, they they did the they uh, done they done an angle which basically the angle they did on Monday was just you know, to delay it was to delay it right yes. right yeah. So then they also announced that Dakota Kai is injured, and I don't know what it is, but the story they gave on SmackDown was it is an even worse injury than Liv Morgan suffered, and uh, no details other than that, but she is injured. And Mark Davis is injured, and yep. so uh, Aussie Open had to vacate their titles. So Both of them. He's going to be out of the, action, apparently. The strong for, and the IWGP. Yep, he'll be out of action for, I guess, quite a while if they had to vacate both sets of titles. Well, not, not, not necessarily, um, because when it comes to New Japan, if you miss a title defense, you have to vacate anyway. So he wasn't. But that would have all... been one title defense tonight, right? No, no June 4th. June 4th? Well, I mean, yeah. he's both titles? Yeah. June 4th, well, I mean, the thing is, if he missed June 4th, he was going to have to de- vacate the titles. Anyway. Well, is he defending both titles June 4th, or which set? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I mean, they might have, he might have another, you know, the strong title defense like a week later or something like that. But, um, you know, I mean, it, it, you know, uh, Kyle Fletcher said that he'd be back sooner than you think. But with them, I mean, you have to, you, if you miss the title, the, your next title defense, you have to vacate. So, if it, once it's announced... And I mean, they can change that obviously because Carl Anderson they they changed it um, because they were so happy they could get Carl Anderson for a couple of dates that they uh, you know um, which I heard was just an incredible headache to put together not because of Carl Anderson because of working with WWE but the um, but yeah so um, Evil and Yujiro Takahashi are going to be at Dominion which is June fourth against uh, Hiroki Goto and um, Yoshihashi and both belts will be at stake and then um you know when Aussie open comes back you know i mean they'll go after whoever the champions are at the time no doubt and i mean it's funny because you know i was i was out of town all week one of the things i was on the road a lot and one of the things um to go at a to a, a, a basically a celebration of life thing that was pretty far away but the um the situation was that um you know, when I was I was thinking about like the awards and everything, we're five months into the year, and I was thinking like, you know, Aussie Open's like pretty much tag team of the year so far for this year, and then you know, I come back and he's hurt, and you know, obviously if he's hurt and he's out for the rest of the year, that would impact that, or how, or for a couple months that would obviously impact that as well. So they were having they were on a run, you know, with uh, they were on a real run right now, so. Um, we'll have to wait and see, you know, we'll get more details on that. And um, I was a little worried about uh, Will Ospreay's shoulder. I don't know if that was a sell, but, I mean, you know, he was just, you know, he did, he was able to lift it up. And, um, you know, he, but but after, you know, he did this whole match with, with Tanahashi. But when it was over, I mean, you could see just the way he was moving and everything, that the shoulder was giving him trouble. And the shoulder wasn't 100% going in, I don't think, either. You know, um, but he came back because, you know, he was going to come back. Um, he actually came back a couple weeks ago, but I think this was his second match since he came back. But I was, I don't know more, you know, obviously I just watched the show, but I um, I was worried about his shoulder at the end of that match. And then uh, Taiji Shimori has, uh, I believe, a concussion. I don't know the, the exact thing, and I haven't seen that show yet. I heard that show was... Uh, that show Cork and Hall today I heard was awesome, and I heard the um, was it Desperado and Francisco Akira. Was that the, I actually got the stuff right in front of me? I can tell you. Um, I think that um, that was the main event. Um, but yeah, yeah, Desperado and Francisco Akira. I was told was um, among the best matches of the year, and they said the best match of the tournament. And I heard that from several people, and I saw. Hiromu Takahashi and Mike Bailey, which had been the best match of the tournament, and 
if this match was better than that, then it's like a pretty awesome match. But I heard, you know, um, yeah, Hiromu Takahashi and um, Ishimori. Um, that was the match where um, Ishimori got hurt. And um, Leo Rush and um, TJP, I heard, was great. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just heard a really, really great show. And um, I guess so right now, um, I think that we got a couple of... Uh, I think we got, let's see, I think we got just the, uh, do we just got the um, A and B block finals on Tuesday and Wednesday, I think it is, is the only thing left, yeah. So uh, going into the last day, the A block, uh, Hiromu Takashi, Mike Bailey, and Leo Rush have 12, and Taiji Shimori and Titan have 10, so they would be the only ones, the top two advance, so they would be the ones still alive, and then uh, in the B block, it would be um, Desperado, Yo, and Master Watto have uh, 12, and Robbie Eagles have t has 10. So uh, they would be uh, the ones, I guess, that would be still alive as well. So um, that's the deal with that this thing. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh-oh. Hey, uh what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh no. Dumb! Oreo. Hit that music, brother! Ah, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, man! Hey, no! Hey, I love you guys! I love When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.